Hi, uh, I just thought I'd show you on a little project I've been working on. Um, I'm going to look at an ITX power supply and um, I just thought I'd make this just, uh, just to check um, if it was shorted out or anything. Uh, I haven't got one of these light bulb current limiters so I thought I'd uh, have a go making one. Um, I've seen so many YouTube designs, I thought I'd try and incorporate everything that I could uh, into <laughs> into these two little small boxes, <laughs> but um, I managed to cram them in. Um, it's got, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've just wrote on with a bit of felt pen. I might put some little stickers on, but, you know. As long as I can read it, probably wouldn't use it that often. Um, anyway, there's, there's three 60 watt halogen bulbs there, as you can see. Two of them are switched on these switches there. That one's wired up direct, so that bulb will work straight away. And I'll switch these two in. Uh, little bypass switch there. On and off switch there. Uh, that just supplies the power to this side of the circuit. Uh, that's the on and off switch. I mean, obviously, when you plug the load in there, that will switch the load. Um, and then there's the bypass light to let me know if it's in bypass. Uh, oh, a little voltmeter ammeter there. I machine that all out with my milling machine, which probably would prove a bit difficult with the drill and foil, especially since it's got quite a little gap there between the case and the uh, the surround the edge. Um, but on a milling machine, it's, it's just a breeze. Um, three amp fuse goes to the plug. It's fuse there. I think I've got a one and a half amp fuse in there. Or, you know, I could put a smaller one in if I wanted to. But my switches are only rated at three amps. So, um, you know, it's not, as though, it's not as though I could plug it into something really uh, that draws a lot of current. Yeah, so, uh, so I'll, uh, I'll plug it in and uh, we'll see. Okay then, so I've plugged it in. That switches on the power. Um, that's an LED, that is. It works off the mains. So I'll show you that in a bit. That's, uh, that works off the mains, that does. This is just something that I bought, obviously. I think that's an LED as well. Uh, anyway, that, that turns on the power to this side of the circuit, and, and, and there's the bypass. Obviously, it's not really doing anything till I switch the load on. Um, anyway, I've got... Uh, 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 I haven't got my ATX power supply at hand, so I can't really check that out. But um, let's have a look. I've got this... Um, I've got this soldering iron here. Don't use it, really. Um... It's rated at 30 watts. It's rated at 30 watts. 30 watts soldering iron. So this bulb is 60 watts. So basically it's just going to draw half the power of the bulb really. Anyway, let's just stick it in and... Oops. Knock the phone. I'm, using, I'm, I'm recording this on my iPhone and it's just dangling in... Well, it's on a little bracket. So I just I've just knocked it. Right. Right, so uh plug that in. Right, so I'll switch it on. There's the there's the soldering iron, just keep it there. Just watch I don't burn anything. Just keep it in keep it there, right now. So um so anyway I switched it on. So obviously nothing's going to happen until I switch this, but nothing's going to nothing nothing's going to happen um, uh, until I switch the load. 
Um, this bulb's connected directly to the circuit, and the, as I say, these two are switched on the side here, which up is off. So um, that's okay. That's okay. So here we go. Then I'll just hold, I'll just hold that just in case. Uh, there you are. Then. Right. Bulbs. Obviously, you know, if the salt, if the, if the iron's thirty watts and that bulb's sixty, then it's it's on it's only drawing um, it's only drawing thirty watts, isn't it? So it's. Uh, only going to a light bulb up half brightness, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, it's at 200 volts here, 0 0.1 amp. I think 30 watts is uh, is uh, 100 and 0 0.122 milliamp. 122 milliamp, 30 watts is. So that's... That's reading uh, 0.1, 100, 100 milliamp now, so it's 122, it's only drawing 200, you know, it's only 200 volts. Just put it on the bypass and, and see what the power is then. So, coming direct now, it's, uh, the voltage here in Birmingham is 245 volts. Uh, I've checked that with my fluke multimeter, and that's right. That is. Um, I did look at the uh, two hundred thirty volts plus or minus plus twenty percent, uh, minus ten. So that can be uh, uh, twenty extra twenty three. That's uh, two fifty. That could be two hundred fifty three volts. That could be. But um, anyway, it's, it's two hundred forty five, and uh, I think at two hundred forty volts, it's one hundred twenty two milliamps. So. 122 million, but obviously it's not showing the extra digit here because this this ammeter got, is a five amp one. I couldn't find a, a one amp ammeter or a two. Um, but anyway, you know it's only a rough guide. Uh, so that 122 million, so that's 122 maybe if, the, if you could see the extra digit. <laughs> so it's pretty good. Uh, 245 volts. Uh, yeah, that's definitely getting hot. <laughs> anyway, let's switch it back onto the bypass again. Yeah, the voltage drops and the, the current drops a little bit as well, and the bulbs lit back up again. So if I put the if I put the other bulbs on, obviously then that, that bulb will go out. And there's the other bulb. I mean, it's not going to light up, obviously, because it's only drawing thirty watts. And it's back up to 241, 200. Yeah, it's still, it's still a bit of a drop there. So I'll turn these back off. So, uh, yeah. So it's 202 volts through that bulb at the minute, and that's uh, 100 milliamp. So I switch the bypass off. Obviously, the, that's the bypass. Just watch, watch what I'm doing. I don't want to burn myself. So that's the bypass light, obviously. Just uh, if the if the voltage gets a bit below sixty volts, uh, then the, the display starts to dim. Obviously. Uh, you need a because because that display is 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 uh, work from the two hundred and forty volts main supply. So you know if that voltage if that gets below sixty, then the, the display dims a little bit. But um, that's that. I'll turn that off. Turn that off. Turn the bypass off. Pull the plug out. Put, put the soldering iron somewhere that I don't burn myself. That's it. Stop it there, smoking. 
Right, um, so there you are. So I'll just pull the plug out. <clears throat> That's a bang for the screwdriver. There you are. So I'll show you what's inside. Bob's Bob's the lot. Oops, knocking everything about. Nice. So the phones are right in front of me face, I can't see what I'm doing. That's all right. Epinac. All right. Well, I'll see if I can go up a bit more. There you are, so I'll just take the top off. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I'll go back. I'll just zoom back down again because it's. it's um... Right. There's the current sense, obviously. It's on the uh, output there, uh, going to the plug socket. There's my little LED there. Um, I fitted that myself. It works by this capacitor here, uh, voltage dropper. I think it's a 100 NF, about 350 volts, something like that. And a 1, 1K resistor on the other end. Um, just bring it back up again. 100 NF. So the power comes into the fuse, goes to the switch, and obviously when I turn the switch on, it lights that LED up. The neutral goes to the plug socket and goes to the other side of the bypass LED. Um, the current sense. The other side, just zoom out a bit. Obviously the power comes in there. The other side, the power, the power from the switch goes to these two switches here. And also switches in these two back bulbs. But the front one, the front one is direct to the uh, plug socket via this double pole, double throw switch here, which is the bypass, obviously, which bypasses the whole lot. Um, the display. Obviously, the, the current sense goes to the live socket there on the plug. Comes back to there, and the neutral, I've just connected the neutral to my switch. Don't really matter where that goes, as long as it's connected to the neutral. I could have connected it to the plug socket, I suppose. But it's the same thing, basically. Uh, and then the the, the 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 voltage the live goes to the it is there to the plug socket and the neutral goes to the switch 
Sure, so I can't see me. I can't. I can't see myself. Yeah, the neutral goes to this bit. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's about it, really. It's a bit of a lot crammed into one box, but or two boxes. But uh, it does the job. Works. Um, so that's that's what I've been working on at the present. So, so I've got an AT ATX power supply that I, I'm going to look at and. Uh, you know, it could be shorted out, I don't know. I just don't want to plug it in and blow it up, make it worse. So I thought I'd build one of these. So, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, I don't do many videos, really, but uh, I'm going to start doing a few more. But obviously these th th uh, three three sixty watt halogen bulbs with the, with the, with the bulb holders. I just glued them in. These wires are just press into the uh, contacts into the uh, into the holder. Because um, these, I mean, these obviously while any bulb gets hot, these these do get really hot. Uh, but anyway, these I'm, that's heat resistant anyway. So uh, yeah, so that's what I've been working on. Some insight into the to what I've done, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Any comments? Leave them and. Uh, I'll probably start my next project, which I'm going to do a capacitor tester, a high voltage capacitor tester. I've got all the bits and pieces. It's been done before on uh, YouTube, but uh, I bought the parts some time ago and I thought, well, I'll just get round to doing it. Now the winter months have come, you know, with nothing to do. So I'm, I'm just fiddling, fiddle with that. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.